to this week's episode of Tuesday Tales with Teddy. Now, this week I'm reading the book Commotion in the Ocean. You may remember that a few weeks ago I read the book Rumble in the Jungle. This book is from the same author and from the same collection of books. But instead of being about jungle animals, it is about all the different animals that live in the ocean. To go along with the under the sea thing, I've worn my new harness which has anchors on it and some lovely little crabs. Now, this book is filled with lots and lots of adjectives. So not only do they describe how the different animals look, but this book especially describes the different ways that they move. So make sure you listen carefully as I read the story and we will talk a little bit about it after. Are you ready to listen? Commotion in the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There is the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's see if we can find who is hiding there. The crab! The crab likes walking sideways. I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Look, there's some turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Dolphins! The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. But it's not how do you do, like I'd say to you. It's more of a click whistle squeak. Look down there, there's an angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. The jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fi fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's very good fun. Uh-oh, there's a shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please, take a good look inside. Hello, Mr Swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It stops me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. Oh look, there's the octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Over there, there's a stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Hello, lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. So if we headed down to the deep, deep sea, Miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulbous eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. <gasps> Look, there's a blue whale! There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. And look, what's stuck to him? Some barnacles? We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous, but it's our favourite thing. Wow, look at all those walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. 
We're grumpy and proud, and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Penguins! It wasn't about our icebergs, which makes our feet sliver and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. And then there's polar bears. Deep out in the Arctic, the mummy polar bear snuggles up with all her children as it's very cold out there. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. And what a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to just swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster's very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous one by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. The end. Wow, there are so many different types of animals that live in the ocean. I can't believe it. What was your favourite animal in this book and why? Can you describe them in a new way that they weren't described in the book? My favourite ocean animal is a dolphin because they are so beautiful and elegant and they are really friendly. We talked about there being lots of adjectives in this book and there are also lots of interesting verbs. But maybe you could go through each page of the book and see if you can find the adjectives that are on each page. And see if you can find your favourite adjective. I like the adjectives massive that they use to describe the blue whale and sneaky to describe the crab. So that brings us to the end of this week's episode of Tuesday Tales with Teddy. I hope you enjoyed this book and remember to keep liking, keep sharing and keep subscribing to my channel. See you again next week guys. Bye bye.